We are tracking the conditions with team coverage. Amanda Starantino, she's in Oxnard. Meteorologist Paul Diano has the next weather forecast. But let's start with KCAL Car Fincham. She's in Port Wyneme in Ventura County, where there is actually flood damage. You've been there all along, Cara. Where are you at right now? Yeah, we're still along Channel Islands Boulevard, but we've moved over to a strip mall where a number of businesses have been impacted. You can see some of the chairs drying out there. And this is a dental office. If you walk in, you can see the mud came in and went all over the floor here, actually came up a foot or two. Uh, and the workers here have been just really making sure that everything is cleaned up because, again, it is a dental office. Do you mind taking us towards the back? Uh, tell us a little bit about what you saw when you came in here this morning. So this morning I got here, all my neighbors were out. I was just concerned, like, what are we doing? Um, a lot of water, a lot of mud. Um, freaking out, honestly, because we had patients coming in. And I'm going to say the first thing was trying to get in contact with the patients. Um, and that didn't work out either because our systems were down. So luckily we print out a paper sheet with all the schedule, then we were able to get a hold of some. So right now we're just doing our best to clean up. We went to go buy some materials and some fans, but it's, it was pretty bad. As you can see, this is getting better because we're cleaning, but it's been pretty bad. So many businesses, so many homes impacted. Take a look at what we saw a little earlier, just further down the block. Water got up to this height in my garage and everything started to float. I had a lot of stuff on the ground and, and lumber and everything started floating and it got inside of my car. I don't know if my car is functional because the garage door is broken. John Sinkatel there says water also went into his washroom and two of his bedrooms. His home, one of 60 in the Wainimi Bay community, which is for people 55 and older. Firefighters say they came in and helped evacuate uh, many folks who were trapped in their homes, also uh, folks who were trapped in their cars. And they did have to take three people who were having medical emergencies to the hospital. We're still waiting to learn their conditions. But... Uh, much of that community was evacuated early this morning. Also want to give you a look at an apartment complex where there was a lot of damage as well. You can see some of the cars here submerged in two to three feet of water. Fortunately, no reports of any injuries there. So back here live, all of this will still need to be assessed, but I can tell you as we've just kind of gone up and down this boulevard today, we just keep finding more instances of damage to different businesses and homes. Uh, and many of these folks worried about the rain that is still on the way. I want to toss things back to you. Oh, what a mess. Carl Fincher reporting live from Port Wyneme.